back in the last day of the quarter and the financial year as well. Let's get in the report card then on what the commodities have been up to in the FY17. And it clearly has been the metal space which has been an outperformer. We have seen the zinc prices closing the year at around 66% of gains right now. Well, it also has been about the mine supply concerns, strong demand expectations, not just from China but from US as well, which really has taken most of these metal prices on the higher side. We have seen multi-month, multi-year highs in the last financial year when it comes to other metal prices also so the copper prices have turned around quite strongly 28 percent up is what they are seeing in the previous year and apart from that it has been nickel prices because of the concerns on output and mine shortages and environment concerns all of those factors have taken the metal prices on the higher side the other one worth mentioning of course is the crude oil prices that one is close the year nearly 28 percent on the higher side it has all been about the OPEC meeting the cuts not just from the OPEC but also the non-OPEC producers, nearly 1.8 million barrels, that has been supportive for that space as well. And then, of course, you have to look at the precious metal space where silver clearly outshines gold. While gold is given just a percentage point of gain in all of last year, it has been silver with 18% of strength that we have seen coming in for that. While gold, of course, has been a strong safe haven buying, but then remember the Fed rate hike is something that has been weighing on to that one. It is silver which has been a stronger buy also because of the industrial application the solar panel expectation is to be on the higher side for the developing market and the developed countries as well and that is taking silver prices on the higher side apart from that the expectation also is that this time around 2017 is going to be a second straight year in sense of mining deficit for silver and that is quite supportive for that one a quick run-up on currency space as well, and it has been a very volatile financial 17 for that space as well. While we are standing at a 17-month highs for the Indian rupee, it has been a very strong quarter for the emerging market currencies, the second best actually in last five years. The commodity currencies have done quite well as well. So if you look at the Russian ruble or the South African rand, both of these currencies are closing the quarter with nearly 5 to 15% gains on the higher side. That's pretty much slated in the coming week as well as the U.S. President meets Chinese Premier. Markets are awaiting a lot of statement, conversation and jitteriness in the coming week ahead of that meeting. So that is one thing to watch out for.